Hi and welcome to another Kerry Shaves and today's shave I'm starting off with the Parasso Sensitive Pre-Shave which I've already rubbed in and um, today's something a bit different but um, first thing I must say I hope you all had a, a lovely Christmas and you got some nice uh, shaving gifts to uh, continue on your <laughs> wet shaving journey. I certainly got a few things which uh, will be coming up in the next sort of <laughs> year or two possibly <laughs> um we've got a few things yeah so today's shave is um this razor i'm going to shave with today is uh it's on a pass around on one of the forums i'm on which is uh, the shaving room which is a, a uk forum and this is the razor here it's a pass around it's a stand it's a standard razor that's called uh standardrazors.com I think it is and I'll put the description in the link below to their website but this is a this is a pass around from from the shaving room so I'm just going to give a, a little video review of this razor uh, standard razors are based in LA and this one's I think they come in about two or three different colors I think this is a black well this is a black one I think they come in a like a gunmetal grey sort of thing on the maybe a silver one but it's just all black there's nothing on it so I'm going to see how it um, performs today it's a three piece razor and the, f the strange thing about this one is if you unscrew it the thread is actually there and it, it um, screws into the, the head like that so that goes like that and then you screw it in like that and it's all smooth there's no any any knurling or anything not anything on it at all it's all smooth so yeah it looks great and it weighs in this one without a blade it comes in at about 48 grams which compared to the Mercur 34c coming in at 78 grams so it's quite a light razor and just for comparison there's the 34c there so there's, it's quite a bit longer, maybe about an inch or so longer than the 34C handle. And I'm going to load this today with an Astra blade, and that's the second use on that. So I'll just um, load it into the razor, and the blade just sits in there like that. The cap goes on like that, and then you just screw that into the head. And yeah, I'm just making sure that's aligned. Yeah, so that's the blade in. As you can see, there's um. Quite a bit of blade exposure there, so we'll wait and see how we get on with it. Okay, uh, the brush I'm using today is the Plisson, and the soap I'm going to be using today is something a bit special. Um, this is a soap that's on test at the moment. It's been tested, uh, it's pre-production, and it's by a, a UK artisan. Uh, again, this is from uh, the shaving room. I asked to be added to the list of testers and um, the company kindly sent me a, a nice sample. Um, this is an unscented, I've just pushed it into the, this bowl here. Um, this unscented, it's a tallow based soap and uh, there's a few people who have been reviewing it and by all accounts it's very good. I used it um, the other day and it's, it performs absolutely brilliantly. Really, really good performance soap, so I thought um, I'd make a, a video of it for, for everyone to see. Yeah, so the company is called, uh, as I say, they're a UK artisan. It's a husband and wife team, and they're based in, um, I think it's Hitchin in Hertfordshire in the UK. And these are all handmade soaps. Uh, they make them in small batches. And the company is called Phoenix and Bow. Um, that's I'll, I'll put that. I don't think they have a website at the moment because they're still at the testing stage. But they're hoping to have the soap 
out kind of January, February time. Fingers crossed, um, all, all things going well. And uh, I'm just reading it up here. Yeah, they've got three scents which are going to be their core range. And they are Citra Royale, which is a lime, uh, Litsia Cubeba, which I guess is kind of lemon, and Cedarwood. So it's a lemon, lime and cedarwood, which is Citra Royale. Solaris, which is lemon, peppermint and rosewood. And Sanskrit, which is sandalwood, black pepper and cardamom. So that's the three uh, core bases, core scents in their soaps. Uh, and they're also going to be having seasonal scents, hopefully every quarter, and also possibly one-off limited edition scents two or three times a year. That's what they've told me, so I'm passing the information on. Fingers crossed it will all come off because it's a, a really good performance soap. Uh, so I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone and test the soap and test the black standard razor. So I'll just put that in the water to get some heat in the blade. Uh, I don't think there's anything I've missed. I'm just kind of looking at the notes that I've made here. Yeah, this is uh, unscented, so there's not any scent to it at all. It's tallow based. Um, and also the razor, uh, I need to say thanks to Andreas, who uh, this razor belongs to and he passed it around for everyone to use. So, I'll just wet the brush, shake it out, and we'll get the lather going. Yeah, I think because this is a tallow based soap, it does um, like a bit of water, so I'm just going to dip the tips. Just a little bit and add some water to it. Um, already, as you can see, it's, it's building a nice lather. Yeah, so what did everyone get for Christmas? Some new razors, some soaps, aftershaves, balms. <laughs> yeah, so let me just show you this soap. It's um, just going to add a little bit more water there. And it looks great in the bowl. Um, yeah, I did some in test lathers with this just a couple of days back and um, it was very good. I, I actually filmed them but um, I just wanted to kind of show it to the, the soap maker initially just to, just to give him some sort of feedback. Um, again, just a little bit more water. It does seem to take a lot, well not a lot of water, but it does seem to, to take water pretty easily. I'm just dipping the tips again. Again, probably because it's a tallow-based soap. And as you can see, there should be plenty of lather there for, for this. Okay, so I'd rather add more water if I need it. So I'll just stick with that for the moment. And we'll get the lather going. Uh, I've got about two days growth, so we'll just lather up in the face. Yeah, I think it was about, um, oh, maybe about twelve. I'm not sure. Twelve to twenty people got the, the samples of the soap, and everyone so far has said how uh, great a performing soap it is at this stage. When obviously there's no scent in it because it's only for testing, um, but I've kind of given you the sense there. So we'll get this uh, shave going with the, the standard, the black standard razor with an astral blade, second use on that blade, and we'll see how we get on. Yeah, 
Yeah, it feels, um, although it's, I've put it in the water, it's not slippery at all. I mean, you'd think because there was nothing on this handle, it would be um, really slippy, but it's, it's, it's a good grip. As I said, not very heavy, but it's not too bad. It's got quite a good balance. And it's uh, it's blitzing through this stub also. It's good. And this soap is super slick, really. Nice um, audible feedback from the razor as well. Um, in terms of aggressiveness, I would probably put it somewhere between a 34C and a 37C, the Mercurs, maybe like something like that. But very smooth. and the soaps providing plenty of glide and cushion very nice Yeah, you can um, it doesn't feel that aggressive. You can feel the blade on your face, but it's not like like super aggressive. It was quite nice actually. I thought I was worried it was going to be too light, but it's. Very comfortable to hold. Okay, first pass done. Pretty good. I'll just rinse off and then we'll go for the second pass. Okay, back to the brush. Still um, plenty of suds left. Well, so it's a flying all over the place. <laughs> and there's still, um, I don't know whether the camera's picking up, but there's a beautiful sheen on this. I don't know if you can see it in this light. But, um, yeah, so we'll carry on with this standard razor, which is performing excellently. I'm gonna get a little rinse, yeah. I'm just checking that there's nothing stuck between that and the blade, but it seems fine.
and it's not too difficult to find the angle. Yeah, I always have um, a problem down here and I've since learned I'm not even going to go across the grain because my hair grows that way. So as you can maybe see there's a little bit there but I always just go uh, with the grain down here so it doesn't cause me any irritation at all. But the soaps um, are performing great. Okay, that's the second pass done. Wow. Just uh, a little bit up here. The rest of it feels great. Okay, I'll just rinse off and then go carry on with the pass. Yeah, so the, um, the soap maker, the soap maker has been getting ideas from people in the shaving room just about scents and puck sizes and containers and stuff like that so he's um, he's taking it all on board and we'll see what he comes up with but um, yeah, great really enjoying this shape and the lather's not drying out any in between passes which is good Still got a lovely sheen on it. Which I hope you guys are picking up. Okay, uh, this razor is really enjoyable as well. Really enjoying it. Give me a great shave. So it's super slick. Yeah, no problems. Great slickness. Maybe the one thing I do notice about this razor is um, because I don't know if you can see underneath there there's just the uh, little lines and sometimes there's a bit of soap gets stuck in that so I just have to give it a little quick extra shape underneath yeah but it's fine it's doing okay Okay, that's uh, three passes done. I'll just have a rinse and then we'll uh, see if there's any pickups needed done. Yeah, just a couple. 
can be just a couple, one or two little bits. Wow, what a <laughs> slickness from that soap is absolutely amazing. Really, really good. Okay. Just a little bit down here. Phone. Okay. And just a tiny bit down here. It always seems to be a bit around here, which I can never get, no matter what way I put the, the razor blade. So I'm just going to leave it for now. But that feels incredible. Okay, I'm just going to take the soap out of the brush. The last of these little pickups. Feels pretty good. Okay, I'll just go uh, rinse with some hot water and then some cold. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I feel there's more soap on my t-shirt than there is on my face. <laughs> yeah, what slickness from that soap, it feels, honestly feels up there with some of the top soaps I've used, like the Martin de Candres and Katie's Bubbles and Post Chief um, slickness. Really good and that feels, that shave feels BBS. Excellent. And the, the, the razor was really good too. Uh, I'm just going to put on some Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Lovely. And while that's going off, we'll just go over what we've used again today. Okay, so I started off with the uh, Purasso pre shave, the white sensitive skin. Uh, the brush today was the Plasson, the L'Occitane Plasson. The razor was the Give it a quick rinse. The standard razor, uh, just the, the black. I'm just going to adjust the light here a little so you guys can see. I'm not going to grip <laughs> the blade. Yeah, so it's um, it's all smooth, it's, but it doesn't give me any problems. So it's a three-piece razor, and it, it screws in there. Uh, there was an Astro blade, uh, and the razor, and that was the second use on that. And the soap today, well, I can't show you, but it was the um, Phoenix and Bow, uh, the testing soap. So it's still in the testing phase. It's a tallow-based soap, and I just hope that it makes it to production because it is a super, super soap. Really nice, and I just hope the scent live up to the soap because if they do he's, they, they have a top soap there excellent okay uh, that's all for today thanks very much for watching I hope you have uh, enjoyable the rest of your uh, Christmas and New Year holidays and have a good time and don't drink too much 
<laughs> but um, have a good time and uh, until the next time, we'll see you soon. Okay, take care.